hey what is up guys welcome back here at table for six and we have another dinner idea this one's gonna be really quick really simple uh, you got some beef here some steaks and uh, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna get one of the most juicy most tender steaks uh, out of just really thin slices here and there's going to be no salt, no pepper, no seasoning whatsoever. And uh, so stay tuned. So all you got to do is put your meat in the bowl, just like this. And you're going to grab a bottle of soy sauce and throw it in there. That's it. Okay. You're going to mix it around. Make sure you get your wrapper off because, you know, that's plastic. You don't want to have that in your meat. But you're going to mix it around and uh throw it on the grill nah i'm just messing with you guys but yes you're gonna take a bottle of soy sauce and you're gonna pour it in here you're gonna let it sit here for at least 20 minutes half an hour sounds about good if you have an hour um you know once you get start getting into the hour it might be a little salty depending on how much soy sauce and how much meat you have in here um, but i think half an hour is preferred here so you're just going to throw in the whole soy sauce here. And this is regular soy sauce. You don't want to use low sodium or, you know, none of that stuff. Because obviously what you're looking for here is the salt in the, in the soy sauce. That's going to give you some good tender uh, steaks here. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it. I think I have enough here. Let me, get, let me mix it up here a little bit. And I tell you guys, you know what? I haven't done this method for several years now this used to be one of my favorites um, and uh, I don't know it's just it's been one of those things where I've been sticking to salt and pepper or other good ingredients but I tell you guys this is one of my favorites uh, and it's been a couple years so we'll see how it turns out but again all you got to do do is pour the soy sauce in the meat put it down for about half an hour damn flies and uh, you're set you, you you'll begin to notice that all this soy sauce at the bottom of the bowl is gonna be soaked up by the steaks you're gonna get some nice juicy steaks guys uh, I'm not gonna show you the whole cooking process because you know how to cook your steak uh, I mean in this particular case I'm probably gonna do about a minute or two on each side maybe two minutes and out it goes but I'll show you the end results guys so stay tuned all right guys so i just want to show you again this is the soy sauce i'm using and i poured almost the whole bottle um i think that was enough um actually this bottle was already open so i was it, it might have been about three quarters full uh or so so again depending on how much meat you have in there that's how much you want to use uh, but i wanted to share that it, I, I did it in a bowl this uh, time around but if you have some kind of flat container or flat uh, uh, tray uh, preferably a container where you can lay down and spread down the, the piece of steaks and then pour the soy sauce that's gonna be better um, usually what, what I've uh, used the soy sauce for in this case uh, has been on thicker pieces of steaks where I'll lay them down on a tray or pour the soy sauce over them whatever spills over is going to go under the steaks and it's going to get sucked up by that steak so again uh, if you can have a flat container because in this case the bowl what that's going to do is the, obviously the pieces that are at the bottom of the bowl are going to soak up all that salt and it might be a little saltier um, to avoid that if you're using a bowl you might want to just keep steering uh, or keep mixing that meat around so that uh, you know it's uh, spread out evenly but anyways just some quick advice there uh, when you're using soy sauce but uh, stay tuned guys okay guys it's been about half an hour and as you can see most of the soy sauce if not all of it has been sucked up by the steaks here by the steak so see all the way around so I've been mixing it every uh, four minutes five minutes or so so now it's ready to go on the grill okay guys so stay tuned for 
All right, guys. I want to show you here that the meat is on the grill, and uh, like I said, I'm not going to show you the cook, the whole cooking process here. But uh, go ahead and cook it. I think on this uh, on this particular case, I'm going to do about three minutes on each side because it, it it is a pretty uh, uh, it's got a lot of fat on it, and I'm not getting too much flare up. I have it on high, so I, I think uh, about three minutes on each side. Three quick minutes. I mean, as soon as it hits three, flip it around, guys. Uh, maybe even three on the first side and maybe two on the second side but we'll, we'll see how uh, and I'll let you know how, what I did at the end but again uh, I'm not going to show you the whole process I'll just show you the end results here because uh, I'm pretty sure you know how to cook a good piece of steak guys so stay tuned for the end alright guys and just like that in a couple minutes the steak is ready uh, it only took a total cooking time of, at about, of about five minutes uh, like I said uh, three minutes on one side and about two minutes on the other side uh, and that's what for the thicker thicker pieces and the thinner ones I mean really one minute on on the second side was more than enough um, but let's go ahead and cut into it and see what we, what we can find out here uh, let's go ahead and cut here you can see all the juices coming out guys this is like a medium medium steak here oh man look at that guys this is the results of the, the soy sauce Juicy guys. Let me go ahead and taste this one. Mmm. Oh man. Look at that guys. Perfect steak. Very, very savory. Very tender. And like I said, uh, this is another one of my favorite ways to prepare the meat. Um where you're still going to get the flavor of steak it's not going to be overpowered by all kinds of other flavors but that soy sauce gives it like this asian twist almost okay but not not too much you know you you, you still taste that that grilled steak but it's really tender and the salt in the soy sauce breaks down all the fibers in the meat and just makes it really really juicy guys you guys got to try this um, take my word you know or don't take my word and, and you know try it for yourselves all you need is a piece of steak and a bottle of soy sauce guys really simple look at that guys the, the, I mean the juice is great man look at that I mean you can see it on the cutting board here but anyways guys I gotta have another piece here Mm. anyways guys it's time for dinner so uh, I just wanted to make this one quick and easy and hope you guys uh, try this out for yourselves this is amazing and thank you guys so much for watching I uh, appreciate all the love don't forget to subscribe and give us a like thank you bye bye